Hey guys, what's up? My name is Prez or Justin and welcome to this NHL 22 news slash rumors series. Uh, we're jumping into another video here. Um, I got some news talking about or I got some rumors talking about the size of NHL 22 on last gen. So PS4 and Xbox One. So it could come around around 27 to 30 gigs on the PS4 and Xbox One. Obviously, that is subject to change uh, based on some a lot of stuff. There is there's a tweet about it on PlayStation Game Size. Uh, so if you guys actually want to check out the tweet, there'll be a link in the description or in the comment section below. But uh, Winter Buffalo um, NHL 22 Beta PS4 is supposed to be around the size of 27 gigs. Um, so. Obviously, that could change, obviously, with the next-gen consoles, having a little bit more of a, having a little bit more of a graphical improvement over the previous gen, obviously. And then, um, we got some other stuff to talk about, too. I'm not just going to talk about that in this. Um, I got some couple of stuff to actually talk about here. Um, so regarding this website, Sports uh, Gamers Online... Uh, details on July 20th, EA Sports announcement. So on July 20th, just in a few days ahead of EA Play Live, EA Sports is set to make a major announcement regarding a long-running franchise. So, that's, they already talked about FIFA 22 and they already talked about Madden 22. So the only big long-running franchise they have currently is NHL. Well, the talks continue that the company is set to announce the return of the past franchise, possibly Fight Night. There's another game expected to be officially announced around at or around the event. According to sources, EA Play Live and EA Sports Vent will be revealed that EA Sports NHL series will finally make the jump to the Frostbite engine with NHL 22. So there we go. They're definitely going to make the jump to the Frostbite engine. I know a lot of people are not happy about that. Um, they think they're going to make the game less uh, less better, I guess. So, but um, anyways, the move to the Frostbite engine has been rumored for quite some time. The rumors have really taken off when EA employee uh, put this on his LinkedIn profile that he was working on the series transitions to the engine. Frostbite isn't the newest engine by any means, but EA Sports NHL Series has been using the Ignite engine since jumping to the PS4 and Xbox One, with NHL 22 bringing the first game into the franchise coming to the Xbox Series X and S and PS5. It only makes sense for the game to use the Frostbite engine. The only question is, the only question then becomes, will it be the Frostbite 3 engine or the newer Frostbite 4 engine? We'll see the well. We'll find out when the announcement is made on July twentieth. But uh, yeah. So on July twentieth, I plan on doing a live stream of EA Play, um, or EA Play Live. So if you guys actually want to come in and watch it with me, you guys can definitely do that. But um, we're gonna see if there's any NHL twenty two news in that. So another thing I want to talk about. Is you know we talked about um, the the thing with Madden 22 that Madden 22 has coming to their to their game is dynamic gameplay is coming to well dynamic gameplay is going to be in Madden this year. Um, so another thing I want to talk about is the FIFA trailer. The FIFA 22 trailer is live now and focuses on the hyper motion technology. As the game changes features come true to the game, it will help FIFA 22 reach all new levels with realism and new mentions of player, uh, new method of player performance capture. This will only be part of the PS5 and Xbox Series X and S and, and Google Stadia versions of the game. You will learn all about it by watching the trailer below. So... They're having the FIFA is having the hyper motion technology in FIFA 22 this year, which will definitely improve. Like I said, the capture of the the method, the capture players, 
everything like that. They could carry that over to NHL 22 or even 2023 or 24. Um, so as you guys know, with EA and NHL games, it usually takes a couple more years until EA, NHL division of EA, brings these technologies that they've been having in FIFA and and Madden over the years to bring it into NHL 20 or to bring it into the NHL series. So, but anyways, those are the things that I have for now to talk about. There's not a lot of things to talk about currently regarding NHL 22 stuff. And I do really appreciate it. You guys sending me some stuff on Instagram, uh, on DMs and Twitter DMs and everything like that. I don't know if you guys want me to mention your names or not. I'm not mentioning your names just in case you guys don't want to. And you guys want to keep your privacy, obviously. That is that is absolutely huge. So, um, yeah. So, there's a lot of stuff. A lot of people are talking about that uh, we're going to we're gonna see the um, NHL 22 stuff at July on July 20th when EA Play Live is happening. So, that's why I plan on doing a live stream and all that stuff so and um hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did make sure you guys smash the like button make sure you guys subscribe if you guys haven't already like i said with this series we're going to talk about mostly about rumors for the first couple of months until ea announces some stuff with e uh with nhl and until then then we'll talk about some nhl 22 news but right now it is just rumors and everything like that but um anyways if you guys like this video, make sure you guys smash the like button. Like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, Discord. Links will be in the description down below. If you guys have any news or any rumors that you guys want me to talk about in this series, please follow me on Twitter or Instagram and send me a DM over there or anything like that. Uh, but um, anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, I just wanna be the greatest. Yeah. Man, I just wanna be famous. Yeah. And I'm not playing any more games either. Put